Hi everyone, it's Nicole and today I'm bringing you my April wrap up. So similar to the previous month's wrap ups, we're going to be going over the stats first. And then um, when I talk about the books, I'll be talking about if I go over them in a certain vlog and I'll make sure I'll link those vlogs in the description box and in the cards for you. So you can know my full thoughts and opinions on the book while not making this an hour long video for you. <laughs> So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. We do have a lot of books to go over. So in the month of April, I read 29 books. Seven of those books were books that I own. I know I've made comments in the past where I wanted to make it a priority to read books that I already own. This month that kind of fell by the wayside for me, but I'm totally okay because I was doing a lot of my reading uh, this month for a themed vlog and um, I was really excited to be doing it. So um, I let that little caveat slide for this month. I didn't read any books um, on a TBR because I didn't make a TBR for April. I wanted to take a break from the TBRs because I was just so burnt out in March. So I took a break from that. So everything I read in the month of April was just for my themed blog, or they were mood reads, or I had to read them for a book club. So that was basically it. So out of the 29 books that I read in April, 20 of those were by authors of color, which um, I'm really, really happy with this number, especially because in March, I only read four books by authors of color. So um, I said I was going to do better. And here I am doing better. Um, zero of the books that I read in the month of April were rereads. So I didn't reread any books last month. And I read a total of 6,244 pages. So let's get into the genres. Out of the 29 books that I read, 26 of those were romance. And I was very happy to be reading nothing but romance. I feel like it was great. <laughs> Two of those were fantasy and one was horror. Let's move on to the format. Out of the 29 books that I read, 22 of those were audiobooks. It was a very big audiobook month for me. And that was because my themed vlog that I did was listening to Jacoby Diem narrating audiobooks. So I just went through um, a lot of his, you know, backlist, and I listened to a lot of books that he narrated, and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> One book that I read was an ebook, and six were physical books. All right, let's get on to the star ratings. I read one three star book, 20 four star books, and six five star books. I didn't have any half ratings last month, which was interesting to say the least. So the first book that I read was Mapping the Interior by Stephen Graham Jones. I buddy read this with Alicia and I'm reading more of his books just because I really, really enjoyed The Only Good Indians. So I want to read a lot more of his work. It's very short. I got through it pretty quickly. Um, we read it over the weekend. You know, we broke it down into sections. I didn't really feel like this was as scary as The Only Good Indians was. The Only Good Indians really freaked me out. But this one I felt was more, it was more eerie, not necessarily scary. Gary, should I hold the books over here? I'm sorry. I do that a lot. I forget which side I leave more room on to show you books. But anyway, so yeah, this was a little bit eerie. Definitely chilling. Um, trigger warnings on animal gore, bullying, violence, uh, gunshots, murder. Um, so, you know, just kind of like with the Only Good Indians, those trigger warnings do exist in this book as well. This was told in a very interesting way. So we follow this boy, he's 15 years old, and he wakes and he sees a person in full Blackfeet regalia um, just in his house. And he doesn't, he's not quite sure if it's like a ghost. Um, it looks a lot like his father. He's not sure what's going on. We learn later on in the book that this is actually being told from the main character when he's older and he's recalling the story about this ghost who's actually trying it to come back to life and he's remembering it because something that's very very creepy is happening like when you get when you get to the end it really my jaw like hit the floor so if you've read this book you know the plot twist at the end and what junior is trying to do so i just felt like in that regard this is one of those books like once you hit the end and then everything kind of makes sense and the realization of what's really going on hits you, I was I was speechless. So I really enjoyed this book. Um, I gave it four stars. I didn't like it as much as The Only Good Indians, but I still really enjoyed this book. So four stars. The next book that I read was Getting Schooled by Christina C. Jones. 
This is a contemporary romance. This is kind of like an opposites attract um, student teacher romance kind of. Um, we follow Reese who is our female main character. She just took on a grad assistant position. Um, her mother is a professor at a university so um, she took on the position of being her assistant and she's the one that reads the papers and kind of gives her overall thoughts and what their grade should be and then her mother goes and like follows after her and kind of either keeps the grade that she said or adjusts the grade as she sees fit because she is the professor. And then we have Jason who is um, the love interest. He is taking this class and he um, turns in a paper of his and Reese is reading it and grading it and she really likes it. You know, the some of the things that he's writing down, she's, you know, she's becoming attracted to him like through his papers and then they meet in real life and it's kind of like, oh, you're that person. <laughs> my goodness it was so so funny um but I really liked this book sorry if my camera angle shifted my husband called me so um back to what I was doing um so I really enjoyed this book um I think their banter is really good almost you know it's kind of like a hate to love kind of thing and I you know that's one of my favorite tropes so I really really enjoyed it um Christina C. Jones um I really really enjoy her work I've read a couple of her um novellas you know last year and the more I read from her the more I realize I just I just have to read her backlist because everything she writes is just phenomenal so um I gave this four stars the next book I read was The Chase by L. Kennedy and I read this for the Swoon Sisters book club. We had a live stream discussion of that on my channel so I will link that in the cards and in the description box for you so you know my full thoughts. Um, I have that book club with Deja. You can follow our Twitter and Instagram and those accounts will let you know of the next books that we are reading. We would love for you to join us. Um, we are going to be alternating channels so the next book is going to be managed by Kristen Callahan and that is going to be on Deja's channel. Um, the first Monday of June. Uh, but I did uh, like this book. I gave it four stars. The next two books I read are from the Eternally Tethered series by Christina C. Jones. First one is Haunted. The second one is Coveted. When I first started reading this book, I the first book, Haunted, I thought it was just going to be a contemporary. Didn't really read the synopsis, so I was very surprised when there's actually some fantasy elements in there. It's a Fated Mates uh, situation, and so what happens is our main character, she's having these dreams of a lover who, you know, he's swoon-worthy, and, and it just seems so realistic. And then she actually meets him at a business dinner, and so she thinks she's you know, losing her mind. In all actuality, the situation is something even more fantastical. It's like these two have, you know, been married and something happened where, you know, she has lost her memory and put in this new life and she has no memory of them whatsoever. So it's like he's in the, he's on this journey to make her remember their love and their past and kind of accept who she is. And I just thought that was pretty amazing. It was pretty epic, you know? And so um, our main character in the first book, she has a sister, so that's who the second book is about. And um, I really, really enjoyed this series. If I'm not mistaken, I think the second one ends on a cliffhanger. And I really hope that we get another book because I think there was a few years in between the first one and the second one. So I don't want that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. I gave these both four stars. Sorry, I had to stop again. Um, I just keep getting interrupted. I don't know where I left off well in the previous book, so I'm just moving on. The next book that I read was SVU Surveillance by Julianne Lindsay. I read this for my book club that meets every other Wednesday, so I have a full live stream. It will be linked in the cards and in the description box for you so you can know our full thoughts and opinions, but I gave this book five stars. The next book I read was Refree the Stars by Hafsha Faisal. Um, I absolutely adore this series. It is just a duology. I wish there was more, but this book had everything I wanted and more. Uh, the romance was a little bit uh, drawn out. I could have used, you know, more to the point. You know, I wanted them to get together faster. I can't really go into too much detail about what this book is about because it is the second book in the series, but um, I loved it. You should definitely give this duology a try. I gave it five stars. 
The next book I read was Actor Age Eve Brown. This is book number three in the Brown Sisters series by Talia Hibbert. I absolutely adored this book. I love Eve so much. You know, she did a lot of growing up in this book. She really, really did. This is definitely a grumpy sunshine or opposites attract trope. So we have our carefree Eve and we have our control freak Jacob and um, it turns out that you wouldn't think that they'd be able to work together but they do. So Eve, she basically is cut off, you know, from her inheritance. You, like her parents want her to get a job and grow up. So she is, you know, driving around just like not knowing what to do. And she comes on this uh, bed and breakfast who is hiring. So she just goes in on a whim um, for an interview. And Jacob is so particular. He said no to literally everybody else. And the person who is helping him with the interview is saying, okay, well, you said no to everybody else. So this person, this is it. If you want to have someone, you know, cooking food for you, especially because this festival is going on um, that they have said that they were going to cook for. Um, so if you don't want that to be ruined, you have to hire somebody. And this is our last option. So you're hiring her. It turns out she is a very good cook and everyone loves her. And they actually end up working very well together. You wouldn't think they would, but because of their complete differences, but they complement each other very, very well. I gave this book five stars. Next two books I read are in the Strictly Professional series by Christina C. Jones. And the first book is Strictly Professional. And the second book is Unfinished Business. And I talk more about these books in my Jacoby DM audiobook vlog. So again, I will link that in the cards and in the description box so you know my full thoughts. I really, really enjoyed this series. Um, the second book, freaking threw me for a loop. I did not expect the beginning to happen. I actually was getting teary eyed um, the first couple of chapters in the second book. It was really making me feel all the things. Um, but to know more, just check out that vlog. And I gave those both four stars. Next book I read is Surrender to the Cyborgs by Grace Goodwin. This is book number one in the Interstellar Bride program, The Colony. Um, so this is like a spinoff because I know that there is an Interstellar Bride program series, but I think this specifically said The Colony. So it's a spinoff of like the original series. Again, I talk a lot about this book in my Jacoby Diem audiobook vlog, so go check that out. Grace Goodwin is really good at writing um, very fast-paced, swoony sci-fi romances. She gets right to the bang in like she doesn't she doesn't wait for anybody <laughs> uh this is a menage uh, romance uh, male male female and um i really really enjoyed it um i gave it four stars the next two books that i read are from the rami university series by alexandria house first book is teach me second book is touch me this is another book that I read for my Jacoby Diem audiobook blog, so go ahead and check that out. I like the second book a little bit more than the first book. The second book, whoo, um, definitely there's some fantasy paranormal aspects of, you know, our female main character having like prophetic dreams and like a little magic element. Um, kind of like a faded maid situation. Again, she's dreaming of the male protagonist before she meets him. Um, so I really, really enjoy um, their story. Very sexy, very swoony, very romantic. Uh, but I gave the first book four stars. I gave the second book five stars. The next book I read is Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan. I read this for my Percy Jackson read along that I'm doing with Brie over at the Locked Booktician. Um, we had this discussion on my channel, so I will link that discussion in the cards and in the description box for you as well to know our full thoughts and opinions. Um, you can really tell in this book that the series is coming to a head. There's this prophecy surrounding Percy, and um, it's more prevalent in this book and going to be in the last book because the prophecy explains that when Percy is 16, something major is going to happen. He's either going to be the savior or the downfall of the Olympians. So um, definitely feel like um, higher stakes you can tell that, like I said, it's coming to a head. I'm really enjoying this series. I'm really enjoying like these discussions with Brie. She's fantastic. Um, but I gave this book four stars. The next series that I read was Them Boys by Alexandria House. First book is Set. Second book is Jaw. And the third book is Shoe. This series is um, shorter. It, audiobooks are about two to three hours long, but they are very sexy, very swoony. 
Um, there are some trigger warnings in this book, so if you want a full list of those, definitely check out uh, my vlog and also check out my Goodreads reviews. I list all the trigger warnings on these, um, at least I'm trying to, the ones that I um, remember on all of my reviews of all the books that I'm reading this year. So definitely check that out, investigate more, because you know you just want to be cautious when you're going in and you could possibly be triggered. But I gave Set five stars and I gave Jaw and Shu four stars. Next book I read is Safe With Me by Stephanie Nicole Norris. This was my first book that I ever read by Stephanie Nicole Norris and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, again, it's a part of my Jacoby Diem vlog, so please check that out. Um, I really enjoyed it, I gave it four stars. Next book I read was Flow by Kennedy Ryan. Um, this is part of the Grip series. Um, I spoke with Deja and she said, instead of starting with book number one, Grip, you should really read Flow because Grip is a second chance romance and flow really gives you uh like their backstory and how they met so you appreciate the first book a little bit more but yeah I really really enjoyed it I can't wait to read the rest of this series again this is part of my Jacoby DM vlog so please check that out um I gave this book four stars the next book I read was one of those flings by Lauren Blakely this is one of those audible originals where it's this book was written strictly to be an audiobook there's a full cast um narrating with like the sound effects and everything kind of like call me maybe um but for this one I did not really enjoy it as much as call me maybe there are some things lacking I didn't connect to the characters as much I did read this for my Jacoby Diem vlog so um to know my full thoughts you know the drill please check out the vlog um but yeah I gave a I gave this book three stars. The next book I read was Brat by Madison Fay. This is book number two in the Winchester Academy series. I have read this series in the past. I just skipped over book number two because I really didn't like the female main character from the first book. So I kind of just skipped over her book and just went on with the rest of the series. Um, but you know, one day I was just feeling like I just needed a Madison Fay. I needed a quick to the point over the top contemporary romance and she delivers on all sides. So um, Winchester Academy, this is basically um, age gap romances, student teacher, um, taboo contemporary romances. So um, this is a menage, uh, male, male, female with a student at the university and her teacher and his brother, who is also a student at this university. <laughs> I know, I gave it four stars. <laughs> Next book I read was Caribbean Rescue by Cami Chekets. Um, this is book number one in the Billionaire Beach series. It's a romantic suspense. I didn't know that going in, so it was a very nice surprise when I started it. Again, this is a part of my Jacoby Diem audiobook vlog. Um, but I gave this book uh, three stars. I feel like certain things happened in this book that were super convenient. It was an enjoyable read, but like I said, convenient. Next book I read was Protecting His Witness by Julianne Lindsay. I read this for my book club that we have every other Wednesday, so that discussion will be in the cards and in the description box for you. I really love Julianne Lindsay's work. Anything I read by her is five stars, so five stars. Next book I read was Fearless Love by Donna Marie. And this is the first book that I read uh, by Donna Marie. Um, again, part of my Jacoby Diem audiobook vlog. Uh, I did enjoy this book, not as much as some of the other books that I've read, you know, going on this Jacoby Diem adventure. There's just this little caveat, you know, for me personally and my romances, I don't particularly like cheating. And there's this little thing like towards the end of this book where the, for the two main characters, instead of coming together and talking about the rumors that are going around about, you know, one, this, that, or the other, um, they just kind of, like ignore their phones, block their signif block each other. And then the male protagonist proceeds to go to a strip club and full on kiss and is fully prepared to have sex with one of his exes that work there. So I was just that kind of huh, just rubbed me the wrong way. But um, I do want to continue the rest of the series Just interested to see uh, where it goes. But I gave this book three stars. Next book I read was No Holds Barred by Stephanie Nicole Norris. Um, I'm really, I was really happy to read another Stephanie Nicole Norris. I really, really like her writing um, and I really enjoyed this book. Again, a part of the Jacoby Diem audiobook vlog. So please watch it. It's fantastic. <laughs> I really had a lot of fun doing this, uh, but I gave this book four stars. Next book I read was Higher Love by Alexandria House. Again, um, listen to the audiobook for this. It was narrated by Jacoby Diem. Um, I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to read the rest. I gave it four stars. Next book I read was Sweet Talk by Cara Bastone. This is like book number two in the Love Lines series. So Call Me Maybe is the first book. This is the second book. Now I didn't like this book as much as I liked the first one, but this is still really cute, really sweet 
um, really swoony. Um, trigger warnings for this book. Um, our male main character, he, um, his apartment was robbed and um, he wakes up in the middle of it and the robber um, holds a gun to his face. So please trigger warnings for that um, before you go in because he does have um, insomnia now because of it. He, it's not that he's scared to go to sleep. It's just when he does, he dreams of it. And then also he just, he's on constant like high alert uh, because of the robbery. So so our two main characters in this book, how they um, get together is that um, our male main character, I can't think of his name. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Let me, I have good reads up over here. I'm just gonna check. So how our two main characters meet, um, Elliot, who is our male main character, he is having trouble sleeping at night. So he texts, he means to text his sister, uh, but who he actually ends up texting is Jesse. And so because of, he has, um, dyslexia and he really has to think about you know spelling a person's name he when he first gets a person's number he just kind of puts like their initials and he immediately goes back in and changes it you know but once they leave because he doesn't want he's embarrassed and he doesn't want to be fumbling on his phone of trying to per, like spell their name um but he doesn't do that with Jesse's number. So he just goes to like the J because I guess his sister's um, name starts with a J as well. So he means to text his sister, but in reality, he's texting Jesse. And Jesse has had a crush on Elliot since they first met. And she's kind of like, oh, he doesn't really know who this is. So it becomes kind of a game of like, who really am I texting? Um, and they have this <laughs> like point system where it's like he's trying to guess and she gives him points. Uh, for or against about whether you know how close or how right he is um, it's just really cute the banter and she's just kind of scared for him to learn who she really is because she doesn't think that he would like her when he does find out so um, it's very very cute again I liked Call Me Maybe a little bit more but I gave this book four stars and the uh, last two books that I read in uh, the month of April were the last two books of the Wright Brothers series by Christina C. Jones. The first book was Getting Schooled, which I read at the beginning of the month, and I saved the last two for last, I guess. <laughs> so uh, book number two is Pulling Doubles, and the third book is Bending the Rules. I really, really enjoyed this series. I really, really did. I gave these books four stars. So that is it. That is the end of my April wrap up. Go ahead and comment below and let me know if you've read any of these books and if you enjoyed them. Go ahead and like my video if you did and you can follow me on all the social media platforms. The links will be in the description box below. I'll see you next time avid readers.